Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the SoCon Championship game here in the UCF Knights Dynasty. Both number one seeds, UNC Greensboro and UCF, meet up in this game where earlier in the season, Greensboro did defeat UCF for their only conference loss of the entire year. Greensboro went on to not even lose another game. 17 game active win streak they have to our 12. We are going to be really in a dog fight this game. They are led by a couple of great scores. Kyle Ponsler is a double-double big guy for them. And then Hayes Broadhead also averaging 20 points per game. This should be an amazing game from start to finish. As last time, both teams hit the free throw line quite a bit. So expect a lot of physicality in this game. So here we go. The winner to the NCAA champ or tournament. And let's get this game underway. And here is Sam Hayes. We win the tip off passing around the perimeter. This time to Mwangi in the post. Mwangi gets ripped by Ponsler right away. So here comes Greensboro the other way now, double teaming at the three-point line, and that is a nice find. He finds Ponsler who drives the baseline and throws, throws down the dunk. Last week we had, last episode, we had a really good post episode. Getting the ball in the post, and this shot inside is going to be missed by Mwangi. That one hung up on the rim for quite a bit and did not fall. Here's credible from the outside. This one rims in and out. A couple of missed shots here early for UCF. Here's Mwangi again. This time gets blocked back outside to Credible. Inside to Mahanic. Turnaround shot is missed again. A bunch of missed shots early on for UCF. We are scoreless to the first few minutes of the game, and that is a nice find inside, and that is Ahmad Warfa who throws that one down. And now we are down 4 nothing. Still close. Here is a post shot. Finally, we get it to go. And that is Mwangi, he gets us on the board. So here is Credible from the outside. He misses long. Offensive board by Mahanic. He pits, puts it up and in on the second chance opportunity. Greensboro is very, very good inside and out. Here they're working around the perimeter. Broadhead inside to Ahmad Warfo, who hits the jump shot from the left block. That is good. A two point lead here early on for Greensboro. Hopefully we keep uh, stopping this streak of missed shots and here is another shot from the outside Sam Hayes as that one goes in he doesn't really take too many outside jump shots here is a block this time by Reese Mahanic the other way is Mwangi that is a transition dunk and now we have the lead as Greensboro finally gets a butt bucket back here eight to eight here we push it up the floor Bob Sharp to the corner credible with the three that one's good Credible, we need to get going early because, you know, late in the games, he kind of goes cold, so we need to get him going early on. And here is a fadeaway this time. Good, Trey Dennis with the fadeaway. And now it is an 11-10 game. Here's Kyle Ponsler going aggressively at the hoop. He misses one shot, misses his follow-up shot, and here we go the other way. Credible, he has it at the three-point line. Good move, getting to the basket, throws one up and draws the foul. Ahmed Warfa gets called for that first personal of the game. And here comes Credible to the free throw line. He hits both free throws, 12 to 10. Here's a pass inside. This one's a wild shot. Nash Kolchak on the defensive board that time. No foul called. Here comes Bands the other way. To the corner, Jordan White with the three. That one's good. He struggles with that shot. The open three is something that Jordan White has never been able to hit. And here we are on uh, defense. We get the foul call on the offensive uh, illegal screen. But then our game actually freezes right here. If you play this game, you know this happens at, from time to time. So we actually resume the game here with the same lead pretty much, 33-29. This one starts with three minutes to go in the first half. So we will hop right into this game. I don't like to resume uh, and play the game all over. I like to get a similar score. So here we go back into this game. Greensboro with a nice pass inside. That is going to be Trey Dennis under the basket. He gets that one to go, 33 to 31. Here is Bob Sharp getting to the basket. He can't get that one, but a deflection, good defense. Sharp gets it back and puts it up, and that's good. 35 to 31 now, 
a four-point lead for UCF. Here is a nice pass to the post. It's Ahmed Warfa again, and he gets that to go. It's going to go back and forth to the end. Warfa again, a tough fadeaway. This one's blocked, and here we go. Mwangi goes the other way. He's not the fastest guy, but he goes coast to coast. A good pass over to Credible, and that is a transition layup for Credible. He's got 10. Another deflection here. Good defense turning into offense. Sam Hayes, he pushes it up to the corner. Bob Sharp, and he hits the three. It's now a seven-point lead here for UCF. And now 40 to 33. Here is some good passing around the perimeter. He finds uh, Broadhead inside, and that one is a nice assist by War Warfa. I guess it's not really an assist since he missed the shot. But here we go. Under a minute to go, trying to push the ball up. That one is blocked. We hold for the last shot. Five seconds to go. Sam Hayes just looks to the corner. Credible pulls a three. That one's off. And that will end the first half. UCF actually played a good half that time. We missed a couple of shots in the beginning of that game. Was definitely starting to get going, but good defense by Greensboro and UCF. It's just a five-point lead at halftime. We are shooting 43% to their 40, and you can just see the rebounding margin is pretty close. Only three rebounds difference, and here we go in the second half. Here's Mwangi getting ripped away to start the second half. Here they go the other way. Broadhead, good find to Amata Warfa, and he goes up for the contact layup. It's an and one. And wow, what a great start for Greensboro, turning defense into offense. Amata Warfa, Averaging 10 and 6, he makes the and one free throw back to a two-point game. Here is Broadhead now working it inside. He eventually finds Warfa. That's a bad miss. And then a nice block that time. And here we go the other way. Bob Sharp pushes it up behind himself to Sam Hayes, who has the open three. That one should have been knocked down. Here they go the other way. And that is a foul on Bill Dickerson. Just incredible, just gets called for that foul. And Dickerson's averaging five and six. He is their distributor distributor on this Greensboro team. He goes to the free throw line and hits the first. And the second one will also be knocked down. We're all tied up at 40 apiece. Two minutes into the second half. Here's a pass to the outside. Bob Sharp just pulls up. Nobody stops him. And that's a good shot by Sharp. It seems like Sharp is the best shooter on our team this year. As here is a offensive board that time, and that is going to be good. Amada Warfa gets a second chance opportunity. Here's Credible from the corner. Open three. That one is off. I don't know how Credible misses these open shots like that. But here he is playing defense. He makes up for it with the steal. Going the other way. Here is Mwangi. And he gets contacted, but no foul call on that one. 43 to 42 still. Here's Mahanic though, driving another contact. And that is gonna be off. 43 to 42, shot from the outside. This one's off, but an offensive board by Kyle Ponsler, who leads their team in rebounding. He's averaging 14 and 12 this year. And he gets a second chance opportunity. Here's the pass to the outside. That one is knocked down by Dickerson. It's now up to a four point UNC Greensboro lead. Bob Sharp now working the ball inside. Mahanic in the post. Good move, and he gets it to go. Maybe a little bit of a lucky bounce as well, 45 to 47. And here they go the other way, 47-45. And that one's blocked. Mwangi gets the board. He's going to push it all the way up the court. Two-handed dunk in transition. They were back tied at 47 apiece. Nine minutes to go here in the second half. Here's another offensive board. This time it's Hayes Broadhead. And he gets the offensive second chance opportunity. And now here they go the other way. 49-47. Off of the steal from Broadhead. He passes it to Ahmad Warfa who throws it down. Good find by their leading scorer. And now it is 51-47. to We send the double team now. Broadhead gets ripped away. Bob Sharp the other way. He goes up for the left-handed layup. Maybe making it a little more difficult than it needed to be. And now it is a two-point lead. Broadhead from the outside. This one's missed. Mwangi on the board. He works it to the right side. That's credible. Let's see what he does. Good move. Get into the basket. And he gets blocked. And that one is off of credible. 
So it will go the other way. 51-49. Here's a pass inside. That one is good. And now UNC Greensboro back with this four-point lead. Seven minutes to go. They send the double team. Jordan White on the perimeter. Working it to the corner. That's good. Devon Bands coming off of the bench. He is such a good shooter. I love him way more coming off the bench. I think that he provides an offensive spark that we need. Here is a nice crossover move and a step back three. Wide open, 56 to 52. Devon Bands hits the deck. And now here's Jordan White driving. He misses the dunk. And an offensive board by Nash Kolchek. And we do get the foul on that one. It's back to a two-point game. Devon Bands on the defensive board. We push it up the court. White gets stopped there at the half-court mark. Here is Kolchek. Good find by White. And now it's a tie ball game. Under six minutes to go. 56-56. Here's a jump shot from the paint. That one is good. And now here we are down by two again. Devon Bands working it around the perimeter. This one's Bob Sharp who misses that shot. That one was a bit too long. Here we are on defense getting it ripped away from the defender and the offensive player. That one's a second chance opportunity and that's Billings. How do we allow so many offensive rebounds? It makes zero sense. Here is a pass inside to Kolchak and that one looks like it was deflected and it actually knocks off of Devon Bands. So here comes Greensboro the other way. Another second chance opportunity. At least they missed that shot. And here we go the other way. 60 to 56. Credible all the way. He goes up with his left hand and gets blocked. Here is just Juan Woods, though. He picks it up and goes up with it. You just got to be smarter than that. Go with your right hand. Why make it more difficult? Here we are on defense, though. This is going to be a nice move on Credible. Trey Dennis gets to the basket. And now it's back up to a four-point lead to the corner, bands open, this one's a three. 62 to 61 now, and now it is a one point game, two and a half minutes to go. Here's Credible, one on one against Trey Dennis. He throws one up off the glass. That one was a high floater. And now here we are, up by one, post shot. This one's missed. We get the stop we need. Just Juan Woods gets the defensive board. Here's Hayes on offense. Pass over to the left side, and that one is missed. Kolchak could not get the left hand off of the glass, and now 63 to 62. Here is a post shot. Missed again. Just Juan Woods gets the board, and now we need to hit a shot this time. Sam Hayes from the outside looking for a shot. He gets to the paint. He does hit a shot fading away, and now there's a minute to go three-point game. This one's deflected. Picked up by Greensboro. Trey Dennis with the ball. We trap him in the corner and he steps out of bounds. A good defensive play that time and now we have the three-point lead. 30 seconds to go. Here's a good find and that's Mwangi. Five-point game and UNC Greensboro will cross half court and call a timeout here. 21 seconds. A good find and we turn up the pressure here on defense. Here they work it around. This one's an easy find. Dickerson gets the rock after inbounding that one. And Greensboro does start to foul. They will put us on the line with about six seconds left after one last foul by Hayes Broadhead. These free throws could put Greensboro away. Sam Hayes goes to the free throw line shooting 91%. And the first one is off the left rim. And Greensboro gets the rebound. 4.8 seconds to go. They call a timeout. They pass it over to the top. This is Ponsler for the tie. As regulation ends, Ponsler hits the three. How did Mwangi not get out here to contest this shot? We turned up the pressure. You saw it on the screen. To high pressure on everybody. And yet, we still allow an open three. This is going to overtime, 67 to 67, and here we go. Here is UCF, we win the tip off. Working it around the perimeter, inside to Mahanic, out to the outside, wide open Mwangi, he takes the three and cannot knock it down. As Greensboro gets the rebound, here they go the other way. Working it inside, Ahmad Warfa, he hits the tough fadeaway, that's good. Greensboro with the two-point lead. 
69 and 67. I want to get somebody going in the post this time. Mwangi working it around. Sam Hayes, he gets double teamed. Over to Bob Sharp. Inside the mechanic. Here we go. Here's the shot we want. Here's a fadeaway, but that one's blocked. And now it is Greensboro possession up by two. We send the double team at least try to. Here's a pass over to Warfa. He misses the easy jump shot. And now here we go the other way. Bob Sharp in transition. He goes to the corner. He just takes this three and he makes it. A one-point lead here for UCF. As now here's Dennis at the top. An easy shot for him. That one's knocked down. It's only a two though. 71-70. Here's Mahanic inside. He tries to put on a post move, but he actually draws a foul and goes to the free throw line for a one and one. That first one is knocked down. That ties the ball game up, and the second one takes the lead. It's now 72 to 71. Here is Ahmad Warf from the top. It's Dennis again, and he hits us his second straight shot, this time from three, 74 to 72. Here is Credible in the post. Over to Mahanic. Mahanic. He does draw the foul going baseline. They're going to call that a blocking foul. So Mahanic goes to the line again. This one to tie the ball game up 73 to 74. He hits the second and is now tied at 74. Two minutes left. Here is Greensboro missing that shot. It's an offensive board. Put up and in. Bill Dickerson was there. How did that rebound hit the ground? How do we let them get that board? As here we are now, back on offense, down to Mwangi in the post. We want him taking this shot, but he does get stopped and tries to pass out of that tough position, and it ends up being a turnover, 76-74. A deflection. Here is Dennis working to the corner. Ponsler for three, and he hits, hits it. Ponsler hit the three at the end of regulation. That one puts them up five, and now there is a minute 10 to go. Credible working it in the post. Mahanic. Has a smaller defender on him. He tries to go up with it. Pass it over to Mahanic. Mahanic over to Hayes for an open three. And he cannot hit it. And now there is a minute left. We try to send the double team. The game is not letting us do it. And they find Bill Dickerson for the dunk. 81 to 74. Down by seven. Incredible with the corner three. That one's off. We have to start fouling here. And we do. Greensboro ends up going to the free throw line with Dickerson with 32 seconds to go. The first of the one and one is knocked down. An eight point lead here for Greensboro. And the second one is also good. Down nine points with 30 seconds to go. Here we work it up the court. Bob Sharp gets blocked in Greensboro with a great defensive play. A great last two minutes of the game and they will go on to win the SOCON championship. What a sour ending year for UCF. We absolutely dominate in conference tournament play and then get our rematch with Greensboro and disappoint again. Greensboro will go on to the, uh, to the NCAA tournament. I don't know why I want to say national championship so bad, but wow. What an ending to this season again. Another disappointment. Mangani Mwangi, 18 to 12. He was our best player today. But, you know, the thing is, there were so many opportunities for them to get second chance buckets, and they capitalized off of it. They had a couple of missed shots late, but UNC Greensboro absolutely dominated us on the offensive board. Kyle Ponsler hit the game tying shot at the end of regulation to send it into overtime. And then hit that one three-pointer to put him up by five in overtime. That was a dagger. I just felt like there were just times when we needed a loose ball to be picked up. We had a blocked shot. We needed a rebound, anything. And we just did not get it. That is very, very disappointing for this season because I thought this year we would be getting back to the NCAA tournament. We haven't been there since season number one. We're now in season three, so two straight losses without two straight seasons without getting to the NCAA tournament. And we will just see where UCN's UNC Greensboro ends up in the NCAA tournament. And hopefully, you know, they're a higher seed, which may mean we may get in. We are a six-loss team, but we're a six-loss team in the SOCON conference. So we'll see how that plays out. We are not in the Midwest region. 
And here is UNC Greensboro in the East. They have the number 15 seed here at 25 and 7. So that does not bode well if there are 15 seeds. If they were a higher seed, we may have gotten in, but it looks like we are not going to make the tournament for another year. It looks like the Colonial Conference actually had two bids this year, and it looks like we will miss, but we do have some news. We do get an NIT invite, so our season is not quite done here as we will play in the NIT this year, as we should have made it last year, to be honest with you, but we did not. But now we make it here again, and at least it's a consolation, but we really wanted to win that game to win the conference, and we just come up just short. But here we are in the NIT. First round, we actually play Appalachian State, so Appalachian State makes it also. So I'm, I'm unsure why they matched us up, but they do. So we will start the NIT next episode. Disappointment here for the UCF Knights. We just come up just short again. Hopefully we get this monkey off of our back going into the conference championship game. And I want my revenge on UNC Greensboro. But first, we got to finish this season the NIT. So that's going to do it here for the regular season going into the postseason NIT tournament. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bible in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. That's how we slide. That's how we ride. Yeah, yeah. That's how we.